Patrick somewhere. A short time ago, I got through by satellite phone to Patrick. We're about 30 kilometres short of the south coast of the Faroes. We just about settled down for the night last night uh, when we got three or four conflicting weather reports. Uh, and we didn't really have an option to go on the worst one, which has turned out to be the correct one. Um, so we're paddling through the night from, what, 8 o'clock yesterday evening. How are you um, feeling? Still got <laughs> worse than I can describe. Uh, it's been tough. The wake's been the main problem. Um, and we've had one or two exciting incidents with uh, these giant sort of trawlers that work in pairs. So what time do you expect to make land then? Um, I would have thought, well, we sort of arrived against the current as well. So we, we heard that one of the local um, sort of safety boat guys is coming out with a, with a group of paddlers. So that will be, uh, it'll be nice to have someone else to talk to other than Mick. Um, and I uh, expect to sort of meet up with them nine, ten o'clock. You knew potentially the seas could be rough. Um, how difficult has it been? Um, well, the weather, the weather was fantastic for the first two days. Um, very, very calm. I don't, you know, we've been paddling in t-shirts um, for the first 48 hours, uh, and it was pretty dull, to be honest. Uh, but we saw a lot of wildlife, or heard a lot of wildlife, because it was so calm. And then suddenly, yesterday afternoon, it changed, and the, the warning of bad weather for today uh, came in yesterday afternoon. And, and that's when we, we really had no option but to paddle through the night. Um, and, and it's quite, we had a sort of 4, 5, 4, 6 last night. Uh, it's calmed down now, but they're expecting it to build up to 4, 6, 7 in the next couple of hours. So we're really in a race to get home before that happens. Otherwise, we might be blown out to Iceland or something. But you must be feeling a real sense of achievement having come this far. Yeah, no, we're feeling good. But, I mean, it's, it's, we've got 10% of the journey to go. And for some reason, we're both starting to feel really shattered. Um, and, and this is where so many of these expeditions come to grief is on the last bit. So uh, we really just sort of try and stay focused and um, we'll, we'll enjoy the moment when we get in. For some reason, they're feeling a little tired, he says. Yeah. <laughs> I think What's we can work that out. Absolutely. <laughs> Paddling all night. He did say, and you didn't actually hear it there because the, unfortunately the satellite phone was kind of dropping in and out, but he said the most difficult thing were these huge trawlers that work in pairs. Mm. And he said, you never quite know which way to get round them and you're not sure whether they can actually see you either. Oh my so goodness. they'll be very glad to make it's it terrifying. to the Faroe Fa Islands. Now you can keep up to date with Patrick and Mick's progress by going to their website. It's Paddle Faroes.